Hi guys, um, right, so this is uh, Commodore 64. It's going through one of these uh, cables uh, which I bought uh, from eBay. Um, I'm going to show you in Composite first and then I'm going to show you it in Super VHS, okay? So uh, let's see if I've got this set up right. Now, I'm not a game player. Um, the obviously needs cleaning. Um, I've given it a little bit of a clean, the keys need serious cleaning. Um, but yeah, it's actually running all right. So let's, um, okay. So remember this is composite. This is what you get on the standard monitor. Okay. And, and it actually doesn't work. So I can't, my joystick actually doesn't work. Um, but this is just to show you the screens. So you can see where now, the, again, this is composite. All right. And so this is what you will get if you buy the standard monitor. Now again, I can change the brightness as well, so although it looks pretty good, uh, I can go into, I'm going to here, if you want to brighten up, make the contrast a little bit more, and then go up with the brightness, lots you can play around with it, sound, etc, so if I do, I'll do, it's got a lovely sound coming out of these speakers, okay, but remember again, this is composite and the stereo audio, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to plug in Super VHS. Now, this, you can see it's HDMI. Now this is if you add in a retro tink. Now bear in mind this is probably going to be like a £100 upgrade because I think the retro tinks are about £80, the Mini 2 um, and my adapter probably be about £10, some £10-£15, something like that. Um, but as you can see it is it is a sharp, but hopefully it's not too bright for the camera. So it sounds no different obviously, um, but it is actually now going in Super VHS. Um, you can see the text is a lot sharper. Again, I, I probably need to get kind of. Uh, I'm using um, an Atari joystick for some reason. I think. But look, I don't care about that. I thought I'd just show you it working. Um, and see, it comes up all right. It comes up nice. Um, so, um, you know, it's. Uh, I might be able to switch back actually. Let me switch back. So, this is Super VHS. You won't get any sound, sadly, because it's plugged into the uh, retro tank. So there's the composite, so you can see the difference between the two. Personally, um, yes, it's, I can see the sharpness in the text. You can see the difference in the text, okay? Um, interesting, when you go back to the retro tank, it seems to think for some reason it's uh, gone turned into NTSC. I don't know why, why you have to... <laughs> it's really stupid. It just kind of gets confused when you're not using it. <laughs> it's like, well, it's got a signal. I don't know what's going on. But you're not going to be switching between displays. So, hey, there you go. Now it's gone back in. It's, it's oh, okay, right. Yeah, we do that. See, the button works, but the game don't. Um, but there you go. So that's back in. Uh, S I keep saying Super VHS. It's S video. Okay. Um, yeah, but there you go. So hopefully that's of interest to Commodore 64 fans. Uh, the Atari should be here tomorrow, uh, t tomorrow or Friday, but unfortunately I'll be at the show, so that video won't come till next week. All right, but as you can see, I think that works fine. I may even bring them to the show. Okay, cheers for that.